kind of know our way around grain and yeast and water. And you put them together one way, you get bread. And you put them together another way, and you get beer. Hey everyone, Dano here. Welcome to the bi-monthly Brief Brewery Bio Show. Amanda still brings you the regular hour-long show on the other weeks. Grab a seat, crack open a beer, and let's get to know the people that make the beer we love. Today I'm sitting down with... I'm Brother Donald from Friars Brew House. Brother Donald, thank you for taking the time to sit down with us at Great Beer Adventure and give our listeners a personal take on the Friars Brewing. Just as archaeologists study the art of past cultures to better understand them, I'd like to know the beer behind the brewer. Thinking back, can you tell us about your first beer memory? It does not have to be the first beer you tasted, just the experience that made an impact. I was probably 12 or 13 years old, and um, my father had the habit of coming home in the afternoon and having a beer when he got home. And I remember having a sip of his beer, and I remember that it was a Rupert's Knickerbocker. So that would have been 19... 70 maybe, 69, 70, somewhere in there. I wonder if he knew then that beer would one day become a big part of your life. I like to know where everyone comes from. How did the Friars come about brewing beer? Uh, We've been bakers for a very long time. We've operated Friars Bakehouse for the last 16 years, but we've been bakers for longer than that. And um, so we kind of know our way around grain and yeast and water. And you put them together one way, you get bread. And you put them together another way, and you get beer. Bread and beer? You don't really need anything else to survive. Brewing is a custom for friars, correct? You know, the monasteries in Europe have uh, a history of brewing that goes back centuries. So it's, it's an old, you know, it's an old custom for monastics to brew beer. Of all the beers you guys brew, you must have a favorite. Can you tell us which one? We have an ancestral French ale that I really like a lot. It's a, um, citrusy sort of blend with Pilsner and wheat malts. And uh, I fermented with two different strains of yeast. One's a Saison, one is a Belgian, introduced at different points in the fermentation process. So it has a really complex citrusy, banana, clove kind of estuary. And it's lovely. And it's, be- it's a beautiful copper, orangey, red color. Very clear, good head retention. It's a really nice beer. And I worked really hard to get it that way. Bananas and cloves? That does sound delicious. Yeah, it's delicious. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Do folks have to come here to get your beer, or is it also available elsewhere? Uh, right now, we're in, I think we're in about 40 locations throughout the state, just the state of Maine right now, but um, we're in about 40 locations. And we have the, the enviable problem of not being able to brew enough. We're brewing, we're selling everything we brew, so. Other fryers that brew beer are available all around the country. Can we get yours outside of Maine? Well, the Trappist and Spencer brew a nice beer. Their refractory ale is quite good, and that's, and that's distributed, I know, at least throughout New England. I think they're going nationwide after a bit. And they make a really good example of a Belgian single that's a really nice beer. Um, but I, right now, we, we don't have anything outside the States. Brother Donald, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to chat with us. That's it for our Brief Brewery Bio Show with Friars Brewing. Send me an email at dano at greatbeardventure.com to let us know what you think of these new short shows every other week. Amanda will return next week. Check out our show notes at greatbeardventure.com slash 030. The music throughout today's episode is by Old Etc. out of Biddeford, Maine. To learn more, head over to greatbeardventure.com slash music. We have new things headed your way every week and cannot wait to share them. Today's show was co-produced and edited by me, Dano. Special thanks to our show creator, Amanda, for teaching me the trade of podcasting. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time. Cheers. Want to know more? Be sure to find us on Instagram at Great Beer Women. If you haven't done so already, be sure to head over to greatbeeradventure.com slash subscribe to subscribe. That way, you'll be the first to know when a new episode goes live. Also, don't forget to tell your friends about us. A small party is fun, but a huge party is extraordinary. Let's get more people knowing about beer in the great state of Maine. Great Beer Adventure is part of the Great Pint Society.